Hi, I'm Zeke Peach with Electro-Automatic, the leader in auto-ranging programmable DC power supplies, bi-directional power supplies, and electronic loads. Um, today our video is going to discuss the ease of paralleling two of our units together. Um, this applies mainly to our PSI, PSB, and ELR products, and also many of our EL uh, electronic loads. Um, so there's basically three main steps to this process. The, the first step is to parallel or physically parallel the outputs, which is to take all the minuses and put the, uh, connect them together and all the pluses. Um, this, this is really a site-specific um, uh, exercise uh, unless you have one of our power racks. Uh, so if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to send us an email or contact us through our website. Um, the second step after you've connected the outputs is to um, make the two more connections, one for what's called the share bus. Um, to make sure that all the units are sharing current equally, and then the master slave bus, which has all of the um, communications in between the units. So, <clears throat> first thing is a standard Cat5 cable, uh, just like you would have um, connecting your computer to your to your local uh, network. Um, so, take one of those, and we're going to plug it into one of the two share, uh, master sl slave connections in the back. Uh, remember, it doesn't, remem doesn't matter which uh, connection you make, there's two of them. Uh, this is just to make it easy to daisy chain uh, several units together. Uh, there's no specific order of the uh, master and auxiliary units. Uh, it can be the first one or the last one in the chain or anywhere in between. Um, but there are some terminations that you do um, uh, at the beginning and end of the string. The, those dip switch settings are in, in the manual. So. <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do is connect our share bus. So for the, the 3U chassis and below, it's going to be a two-wire connector with this little green Phoenix, Phoenix contact connector. Um, you, you'll supply your own wire uh, and connect that between the, between the two units. And this does also get daisy chained down to the other units. Um, in this case, we're, we've, we've also got a 4U chassis. Uh, those use a B and C connector for the master uh, or for the um, share bus connection. Now we've got our master slave uh, bus and our uh, share bus connections made between all of the units. The, the third thing is to go into uh, the units and set them up as either master or slave units. So <clears throat> first thing you're going to do is press um, settings. And it doesn't really matter, but you can go, I would go and do your slave units first. Um, once you're in settings, press up. You'll see your, the page 11 uh, in most units. That's uh, select uh, slave for these units, and then uh, enter. Now those units are set up as slaves. Uh, then you're going to go to the master unit, um, go to the same page, but select master instead. Um, hit enter, and it'll probably go through and pr uh, start counting the chassis automatically, but go ahead and go back into your settings, go to page 12, which is a new page, and that'll allow you to initialize the master-slave process. Uh, and so then the master will go out, automatically count the number of auxiliaries, and then return with a, a, a new system level uh, current limit and power limit. And then that's it. It's uh, as about as plug and play as you can get. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, ideas for future videos, or um, you know, um, uh, would like an online demo, uh, please visit us at the uh, at the links you'll see right after this. Thanks.